Good afternoon, I'm Rob Williams, I'm one of the interventional radiologists and the lead radiologist for the UKETS course. I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration of catheterizing the uh, left common carotid artery demonstration of um, arch angiography. I'm just going to demonstrate selecting the left common carotid artery after doing a standard arch angiogram. We'll start off using a standard JTIG wire to gain safe access. You'll see the wire appear in the descending thoracic aorta. We'll leave the wire there. We're then going to select a catheter to do a, an arch angiogram. And generally speaking, we'll use a pigtail catheter. It has multiple side holes, so that when the contrast is injected, we need a large volume. It comes out through multiple side holes, and therefore it's far less likely to cause damage in the dissection. So we'll just advance the catheter until we can sit in the descending aorta. And at this point, we can now advance the guide wire over the aortic arch into the descending aorta until we're close to the aortic valve. And follow this with the pigtail catheter. We reform the pigtail in the ascending aorta, bring the guide wire back. We need to adjust the angle of the C arm to open up the aortic arch and at this point we'll do a subtracted angiogram. We're going to inject 30 mils of contrast at 15 mils a second. The exact volume is not critical. And on this image we can see a subtracted angiogram showing all three arch vessels, the anominate, the left common carotid and the left subclavian artery. Some of the vessels are overlying each other. This is a perfect demonstration of a patient breathing while we do the angiogram. But the image is probably good enough to carry on. We then go to re-advance the JTIG guide wire in exchange for a caster that allows us to select the left common carotid artery. So we straighten out the pigtail caster and then we move it over the wire. The guide wire should stay in approximately the same position. Change for a suitable selective catheter. In this case, we're going to use the burn stone. Advance the catheter over the guide wire. We're going to select this vessel by pulling back on the catheter. So when we get the catheter past the vessel we want to select, we'll remove the guide wire. We'll have contrast ready. We select by withdrawing the catheter at the same time as rotating. We want to try and avoid the anominate artery, which will be about this point. The catheter is just starting to fall into it. There's a little flick of movement, so we leave the catheter in this shape. And it will just jump. And then, as we come close to the left, come to the bottom, just torque the catheter. It should fall into the vessel. We can confirm that by injecting a little bit of contrast. And if we want to, we can do a subtracted run, again using a hand injection, which demonstrates that we've selected the left common carotid artery. We now want to advance the catheter, so we need a guide wire. First, we're going to exchange the guide wire we've been using the JTIP for something more suitable, and a standard angled hydrophilic wire. That's generally what we'd use. See so the cast has fallen out because I let go of it. Reselect. Very gently advance the guide wire. This is the critical point. As the guide wire just comes out of the caster, two things can happen. The caster can back out, or you can cause a dissection. So just be very careful at this point. It was just delayed. Just tore the wire. As far as we can, the caster starts to back out. And when we're in a stable position, you see everything jumps forward there. The guide wire is currently off the top of the screen. We've no idea what it's doing, so that's actually a dangerous situation. So we'll withdraw it until we can see it. Continue to advance the caster.